Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks, we love to hear what different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Recently, the crypto market has been absolutely catastrophic. Bitcoin has reached around $21,000. But this crash has been long time coming. After the pandemic, we saw excessive bullish momentum in all the markets, not just the crypto markets, but also the tech markets. But amidst the global headwinds that we are seeing with macroeconomic headwinds such as inflation, rising interest rates, the war in Russia, Ukraine, which has caused supply chain constraints, as well as rising commodity prices, we've seen a huge ripple effect in the crypto markets. Because of all this, we're seeing a lot of fear in the market and the confidence has been slipping. As a result, many people have been selling their favorite cryptocurrencies, which has led to these price crashes. But overall, we've seen a lot of volatility in the crypto markets in general. With the crash of UST and Terra Luna's ecosystem, that's caused an overall ripple effect in confidence in the crypto market as well. To be honest, it seems like it's been negative news after negative news in the crypto markets. Ethereum has also delayed a major upgrade where it would be shifting from proof of work to proof of stake. Proof of stake would allow it to reduce its energy consumption. This was a critical piece that was required in the Ethereum ecosystem that has also caused the Ethereum price to fall to around $1,200. Now in the crypto markets, when the Terra Luna crash happened, it surprised me that Bitcoin was fairly resilient. Although it did crash, it didn't crash significantly when the Terra Luna ecosystem fell apart. So it seemed like Bitcoin was not as susceptible to market risk, but recently it has shown a huge crash. So let's take a look at the graph on tip ranks. As you can see, the current market price for Bitcoin is $21,223.05. This is down 828.50 cents, which is down 3.76%. The bull run started around October, November 2021, where we saw huge highs. Then we saw a huge crash, mainly because of Elon Musk's tweet on how Tesla would stop accepting Bitcoin payments because of how energy intensive Bitcoin mining is. Many thought this was the end of the bull run. And then we did see some highs and then we saw some crashes and then some highs around this point. But since then, the trajectory has only been downwards. The market cap of the cryptocurrency industry has fallen around $1 trillion. This is down $3 trillion from its peak in November 2021. Again, the sell-off in cryptocurrencies has been because investors have been selling out of risky assets. On top of that, we've seen huge problems happen with crypto lending platform Celsius. Celsius was one of the biggest holders of staked Ethereum, and staked Ethereum recently lost its peg to Ethereum. Masari analyst said that Celsius is a huge holder of staked Ethereum. In fact, they are the largest holder of interest-bearing staked Ethereum. And on top of that, Celsius has liabilities of around 1 million Ethereum. And data showed that only 27% was held in liquid Ethereum as of last week. Roughly the same amount is staked and therefore inaccessible until well after Ethereum's transition to proof of stake. And many analysts are attributing these liquidity problems due to hacks and losses during the UST collapse, which is the crash of the Terra Luna ecosystem. So Celsius actually suspended withdrawals because everyone came into the platform and tried to sell their cryptocurrencies. They suspended it due to what they called extreme market conditions. And they also said that we are taking this action today to put Celsius in a better position to honor, over time, its withdrawal obligations. The depegging of staked Ethereum and the depegging of UST has caused a lot of crypto investors to have a lack in confidence in these algorithmic stable coins and these high yield return assets. So it seems like we are in a very bearish sentiment in the crypto markets. Is this a potential opportunity to buy the dip? Well, it depends on your risk appetite. You have to remember that crypto markets are highly speculative and highly risky. So it's important to do your own research before you invest in anything. And they are largely driven by the market sentiment as the stock market is. But the crypto market is highly sensitive to macroeconomic sentiment, even more so than the stock market. Let's take a look at Bitcoin's rainbow chart to see where we are in terms of the bull and bear market of these runs. So around 2013, we saw the first major bull run and we reached the red territory, which is where they say it's bubble territory where prices are sky high. And this is the time they say to sell according to the Bitcoin rainbow price chart. And then as you fall further down, you end up in the blue, which says it's basically a fire sale. And this is the time that they recommend to buy the dip. Then we saw the next bull run in 2018 when it reached the red part as well. And that's when they said to sell. Currently, we have not reached the highest point. 
So it is possible that we could still go up, but that depends a lot on macroeconomic sentiment. But where we are right now is basically nearing the fire sale segment. So we are definitely in a bearish period right now. But in terms of the prices rising back again in the cryptocurrency markets will depend on the resolvement of the inflation, the interest rates going back to lower levels and the current geopolitical crisis being resolved. And also some of these issues that have taken place in the crypto market to also resolve and find their footing back again. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets? Which are your favorite altcoins and what do you plan to do during this bearish sentiment? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.